The trail to Lost Creek Falls is a short one and very easy. In fact, my friend Deb was just looking at it. You can see it through the, through the trees here. There it is. And it won't take long for us to get up to the base of it. That is Lost Creek Falls. The reason they call it Lost Creek is when you go to the top of it and you try to follow the creek, you lose it. It goes underground. Hopefully we can go up to the top of the falls a little bit later on. Follow that creek a little bit until we find where it goes underground. Isn't this a beautiful waterfall? Community TV TN is brought to you by Security Federal Savings Bank, proudly serving the community we call home. Grace Family Pharmacy announces new medication packaging service. It provides a simpler, safer medication experience through convenient, personalized packaging using the latest in pharmacy robotics. We're located at 357 West Main Street. Our phone number is 931-473-6418. Quality leads with prolific internet marketing and invigorating web design services that will energize your business. We are Sirius SEM. Call today or visit us at SiriusSEM.com. Dr. Pepper. Good for life, good for the community. Beautiful day in White County today. Nice blue skies, nice and cool. And we are at the Lost Creek State Natural Area, the home of Lost Creek Falls and Lost Creek Cave. Can't go in the cave today. It is closed because of white nose syndrome that affects a lot of the bats in the area. We hope to go back in there when the rangers say it's okay. But we are gonna check out a beautiful waterfall today. 
Yeah, I'm going to go to the top of it. Then later on, check out Rylander Cascades and maybe some other surprises coming up later on. So get ready for a nice hike on a nice cool day. Let's go. The trail to Lost Creek Falls is a short one and very easy. In fact, my friend Deb was just looking at it. You can see it through the through the trees here. But there it is. And it won't take long for us to get up to the base of it. As you can see, caves are closed in the area for right now to help stop the spread of white nose syndrome. But in April, I'm told that we'll be able to get a permit and explore the Lost Creek Cave. That is one of the entrances, the main entrance, to Lost Creek Cave. There's a little bit of water running through there today, running from the waterfall. All right, let's make our way to the base of the waterfall. That is Lost Creek Falls. The reason they call it Lost Creek is when you go to the top of it and you try to follow the creek, you lose it. It goes underground. Hopefully we can go up to the top of the falls a little bit later on, follow that creek a little bit until we find where it goes underground. And this is a beautiful waterfall. At the base of the waterfalls, very rocky. And a lot of these rocks are wet. You gotta be very careful as you make your way around the base of the waterfall. But it's a lot of fun. And we're about to go in a little cave that kind of goes beneath or behind the waterfall. And the reason you don't see the water, you don't see a big plunge pool here, is because it is flowing underground. There's another waterfall in the cave. We hope to visit that in the future.
Low bridge. <laughs> I've already banged my head once coming in here. This is cool. A little shallow cave that goes behind the waterfall. And you got to get in here and explore. Get a nice view, nice angle of this beautiful waterfall. We're gonna make our way toward the opening of the cave here. We're not gonna go in it. Just kind of get, a, get an idea of what it looks like. And then hopefully in April, we can get us a permit and explore the cave. You gotta be very careful here. As you can see, it's very rocky. And these rocks can be slippery, so we're taking our time. really a good sized cave and it's got a waterfall inside it and hopefully we can go in there sometime show that to you before we look at the cave let's look at this rock here as you can see it's covered with moss and it's got life growing out of it plant life growing out of it see some fern what looks like might be, a, I don't know, a yucca plant or a lily. And something right here that has got leaves at the top of it. I can't really make it out, make out what that is. But it's amazing, this huge boulder with all this life growing out of it.
All right, we're gonna make our way into the, uh, just barely into the mouth of the cave. Take a look. As you can see, there's a sign up there, cave closed for season due to hibernating bats. And so uh, we're not gonna go too far in. We don't wanna be sighted, but we also wanna do the right thing. We don't wanna do anything that's gonna harm any wildlife. So we're just gonna look at it from here for right now. Cave goes on around, all the way around to the waterfall. And beneath this waterfall above ground, there's an underground waterfall. But we're not gonna see that today. We're gonna wait, get our permit. You have to have a permit to go in this cave and you can't go in until, uh, until April or the, whenever the rangers say you can do that. But uh, a nice, impressive looking cave from here. We're gonna go up here and see where this creek comes out. You know, they do call it Lost Creek because you lose it when you go up the creek. This is really beautiful. Look at all the moss. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, from here, I can see where the creek comes out of the rock. Beautiful little cascades that feed this little creek that turns into Lost Creek Falls. One of these annoying logs that you go under, you do go over. Just as inconvenient either way. We'll go over. <laughs> Or we might just go this way. What a beautiful spot.
you're looking at the cascades between the uh, cave to come out of and before they get to the waterfall. There's where it goes over and becomes Lost Creek Falls. You're looking at the very top of Lost Creek Falls.